Hello students. So in this problem we have to prove that cos 3a minus cos 7a whole upon sin 9a plus sin a is equal to cos 2a into tan 4a minus sin of 2a. Now to prove this result if you'll see the left hand side then it has maximum number of terms. So I'll start my solution from left hand side. So here I'll say left hand side is equal to cos of 3a minus cos of 7a whole upon sin of 9a plus sin of a. Now as to prove this result, if you see that we don't want any denominator. Also on the left hand side if you see the numerator or denominator then it reminds us about the formula of factorization. So therefore in the numerator and denominator we will start with the factorization formula. So what is the formula that we are going to apply over here. So here I will write it down. We have a formula of cos c minus cos d which is equal to minus 2 times sin of c plus d by 2 into sin of c minus d by 2. So we will apply this identity in the numerator and for denominator we will apply sin c plus sin d which is equal to 2 times sin c plus d whole upon 2 into cos of c minus d whole upon 2. So let us apply it. So here we will get cos c minus cos d. So c is 3a and d is 7a. So it is equal to minus 2 sin of 3a plus 7a whole upon 2 into sin of 3a minus 7a whole upon 2. Similarly in the denominator c is 9a and d is a. So let us apply it. So 2 times sin of 9a plus a whole upon 2 into cos of 9a minus a whole upon 2. Now to get the answer let us cancel the similar term. So for that what we will do is we will simplify these terms these brackets first and then we will cancel out. But for time being we can cancel this 2 and 2. Now let us see here. So 3a plus 7a will give us 10a upon 2 is 5a. So here I will say it is minus sin of 5a and this will be sin of minus 4a upon 2 that is sin of minus 2a whole upon this will be sin of 9 plus 9a plus a 10a upon 2 that is 5a and here cos of 8a upon 2 that is 4a. So now we can cancel this sin and sin term and here for sin of minus 2a we can apply the formula of sin of minus theta as minus sin theta. So this will become minus sin 2a and that minus which will come outside and this original minus will become plus. So in the numerator we will get sin 2a and in the denominator we will get cos 4a. So here I will write it down. So it is equal to sin of 2a upon cos of 4a. Now let us see the right hand side. So in right hand side you can see that we want three terms with no denominator and here we just got one term in the numerator and still we have denominator. Now the question is how to convert this sin 2a upon cos 4a into this term. So let us observe the right hand side carefully. We just have to do few adjustments. Now in the right hand side we want angles as 2a, 4a and 2a. So it is for sure that our all angles in the term must be 2a or 4a. Another thing to observe is with 4a we want tan and here with 4a we have cos. So it means in numerator we should bring sin 4a so that sin 4a upon cos 4a will give us this tan 4a. 
Another thing, here we have two terms with negative sign in between and here we have the single term in the numerator. So, let's consider everything together. So, I can say that in the numerator, I should make such an adjustment that I should get two terms in the numerator and one of the term must be sine of 4a so that it will give me sine of 4a upon cos of 4a as tan of 4a. And for that, I'll say this sine of 2a as sine of 4a minus 2a and I'll keep this cos of 4a as it is. Now see, still all the angles are 2a or 4a. And now in the numerator, we will apply the formula of sine a minus b. So here we will get sin a cos b minus cos of a into sin b. Now, here by applying this formula, we will get sin of 4a into cos of 2a minus cos of 4a into sin of 2a whole upon cos of 4a. So here we got two terms. Now we'll divide these two terms separately by cos of 4a. So here we will get this term upon cos of 4a. So sin 4a into cos 2a whole upon cos of 4a minus cos of 4a into sin of 2a whole upon cos of 4a. Now from the second term we can cancel this cos of 4a. So here we will get minus sin 2a. In the first term sin 4a upon cos 4a will give us tan of 4a. This cos 2a as it is minus sin 2a and guys this is nothing but our required right hand side. So here we got the result by using the formula of factorization and the allied angles. Thank you.